Hello, Katya here and today I have a wooden heart uh, that I will alter to you. I want to have like a background with tissue paper to have like fine details. But you never know if it will show up in the end. But it doesn't mind. I know it's there. So I have this beautiful Finna Bear uh, tissue paper and it's named Notes. I want to have that pattern in the background. Uh, and I pick uh, from the edges of the tissue paper some flowers. I'm sure they will not show in the end, but it's always uh, I want to make a more busy background where I will have uh, my composition. So I'm gluing everything uh, with the soft gloss gel. I put it on my heart and also on the top of it. And my heart is white painted uh, to show the pet pattern better. If you have like a darker surface or wooden surface, my tip to show the pattern is to paint it white. So I put it at the top and uh, I'm a little bit careful because the tissue paper is very easy to get broken. But all over the heart. Okay, not uh, all over, almost. Uh, I will leave some small uh, places. And now I want to make it a little bit more like whitening um, you don't need to do this step but i suddenly i feel that i want to do it like a whitewash so you see the pattern still show uh, and that is to if you have a little bit gesso but if you want a pattern to show completely you can use the clear gesso here I have the white gesso and uh, because I don't know if I will put any color or anything and I will uh, pull some of the the gesso off with a uh, baby wipe and this beautiful new stencil it's ghost right there it's like a text and uh, that's my theme, that's my heart, it's a ghost writer. And here I have the icing paste in vintage gold and I got the idea uh, while i putting it out. So I have the icing paste but I also want to have one other paste. So I pick some and a little bit randomly over my stencil. I pick the icing paste, but I also put the crackle paste to mix them a little bit to make my project a little bit more interesting. And I have a set like uh, uh, some metallic embellishments. Uh, and I will glue everything with the 3D gloss gel. It's perfect to the metallic embellishment or molds or anything like that. So I'm start to build up the composition. And this beautiful, beautiful lady, it comes from a mold and the wings the vintage portrait, the mole with the lady and the wings are from key and uh, wings, uh, like older mole. And I try to do a composition so it can stay flat. It's much more easy when everything will dry up. 
And you see I built up the composition with metallics uh, and molds uh, around my face. I need also for the balance to have like some place also some metallics and embellishments. So I'm adding it up a little bit because it's about go dreaming and ghostwriting and dreams, this heart. So I'm adding and pulling out some different uh, embellishments to let everything stay. And the 3D matte gel uh, or gloss gel works perfectly to add uh, my embellishments. And right now I don't mind the color, what everything is, because I will paint over it and add my own colors to my heart but I'm gluing how I want my composition and I will leave it to dry. Uh, some hot uh, summer days you leave it to sun for for like hour and it dries. On the winter time and more cold uh, if you have like more uh, uh, humidity it takes a little bit longer but you can use the heat dryer. Now I will paint everything with the white heavy gesso. I paint over my embellishments. I will not paint so much in the background, little bit around the embellishments, but you can see I was painting like two layers, but not on the back. Round. I have pulled out the art stones. They come in three sizes, mini and the regular and the, the mega stones. Uh, I want to add like more interesting surface. So the lady's head, she uh, will have like uh, art stones and on some places, not all over the place, a little bit here and there and even on the smaller side to give the heart a little bit like balance. And I sprinkle them and I will leave them for drying. I will think I was leaving it for an hour. And uh, you can, of course, use your heat gun or if you have a stove nearby or something like that. But for me, it was perfect to take a break and do something else while uh, the pearls was drying. Yes, when it was dry. Uh, it's time to add some colors and today the coloring will be with the matte waxes. Uh, and I have this beautiful, beautiful new color and it's stain wood. And I will add it with a small uh, like uh, makeup brush uh, and I will try to fill out gaps and uh, come out from like the background because this is a dark shade so it will be perfect to be like um, shadowing or something like that so i go a little bit here and there where i think it could be with a shadowing so it's they are so easy to use but I'm using a very small brush because it's so many gaps and uh, I don't know how they have stick the art stones. Uh, but I think it will be pretty okay. And now I pick the ochre for a little bit contrast because it's very brown. 
and I'm adding it to the wings and also on the face and a little bit on the embellishments. Not too much, a little bit here and there. While the wax is not completely dry, it dries pretty fast, but uh, on my lady here, it's not completely dry, so I pull something off. Um, don't wait too long because it's permanent while it sticks, so it doesn't go like everywhere. But here and there, a little bit tricky to use the baby wipe on all spaces. You can even do it with a small brush to pull off if you don't like it. Now I didn't manage to pull out uh, to have white on the top so I did the same on, uh, on Christmas board uh, to highlight with the white uh, wax and it's beautiful to give and now the art stones shows pretty good. Like the effect that the art stones show so well. And something missing, I want to add a little bit contrast. So I take the soft gloss gel, adding it on some places here and there and I'm having like glitter. There are like glitter sets and this is like the black and white uh, glitter set and I'm using black. Not too much but to give my tent like more effect to show better. Then I want to highlight even once more time. I want to I add a little bit gold so I take a little bit gold here and there the edge brass. I'm really carefully because it I do, doesn't want to have it on too many places. And yeah it start to come out and uh, I think the glitter made it more interesting uh, with the black here and there. I have a clip from the daily art collection and that will be working as a hanger. And when I added the clip, it's uh, from it's not painted on a natural surface. So I find in this point that I was missing something. I needed more in the same color to make, uh, to create like the, uh, my triangle to give the lady like uh, her focal point. So I'm adding some uh, leaves from the metallics under the lady. And I have find even more leaves and I try to find a place and I go for the upper part. So it makes a little bit contrast to all the painted surface to add some uh, uh, elements that are making contrast to the project. And you see I choose three places and the four if I want to add it the four it feel that it was too much. So please give the theme uh, uh, the uh, video a thumb up and uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you like the channel. See you and uh, let me know what you think. Bye bye!